Hey everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. Uh, this episode, we are getting into how to set up a project in Premiere Pro. Uh, this is fairly simple, but some things that you kind of want to be aware of, though, is when you start Premiere Pro, obviously it brings up your splash screen here. And we're going to go up and we're going to hit new project to start a new project. These are previous projects that we've had up in here, but we're going to set up a new project. It'll bring up this new window here. And uh, this is your import window. And this has a couple features up here is asking you what you want your project to be named. I recommend a lot of people just go down and hit create and have their untitled and then an untitled project. And then when they start a new project, they'll just have untitled one and untitled two and so on. Uh, that's kind of a bad organization way to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my project here by saying this is for it. We'll set this up for a short film here that's called Hush Little Baby Short Film. And I, I usually like to end this with a name project. So if you're searching your hard drive for just project files, you can type in the word project and it will bring up just the things with the word project in it. Don't hit create after that. A couple other things you need to know as well is you find a location for it. I'm going to click on this and you have previous locations that you have chosen before. But if this is a new project and you're going to be making a new folder for it, I would recommend hitting choose location. Now it's going to ask you where you want your project saved. I'm going to go out of this here. And I'm going to go under a folder name that, that I've made for myself called Projects. And under Projects, I'm going to call this Hush Little Baby. So this is a movie project that I'm working on. Hush Little Baby Production. So I'm going to create that there. It's created the folder. And now we are in that folder under Projects and Hush Little Baby Production. And I'm going to save my project under that same folder. That's typically what I do. Because if you have a bunch of files that are under that folder, the project file, especially if you change computers, that project file just always looks under that same folder uh, that you had it saved under last. So and it's, it'll easily find all the footage and reconnect it once you've done this. So we're going to hit choose. And those two items we've set up, we've set up the project file, we've set up the location. You can make this, you can save this as a project template if you want to. I'm not going to do that right now. But over on the side, there's some other options over here. It's asking if you want to create a new sequence. When you, when you start the project, I don't like that on. I usually turn that off. You can also add media to this project. Uh, when you first open it up, I don't like that personally. I'll show you what I prefer to do, but this is what this is intended to do over here. Uh, kind of quick and easily bring in the footage and create a timeline for you and get you started here. But if I go to my hard drive here, I go to my projects folder and I go to the footage here, I can select all the footage for this project right here. This is all the footage. It was all shot on one date. And I can go over and I can, if you have create new sequence, it's going to create, it'll import your footage and it'll add that footage to a sequence. You can even name the footage right here if you want to. I'm just going to call this hush. We, uh, we're going to call this dailies. These are the dailies for the project that were shot uh, that day. And now when you hit create, it's going to create the project. It's going to save it in that location that I put it and it's going to import the footage and it's going to make a timeline as well. And you can even put that in a bin as well. A bin is a folder. So if you want to put that footage in a folder, you can also check mark that. So let's show you what this does. So it's create. If this is under the learning layout, I like to go under window, workspaces, and change this. I like the assembly mode just to begin. Later on, we'll get into the editing uh, layout here. But here's all the footage for the entire project here that's been imported. It's dropped it into a timeline. And this is kind of nice because if you want to watch your project dailies, you can quickly kind of fish through the dailies and watch through them in the timeline. And that's, that's an okay to, way to go. But up here, it has created a bin. It has put all my footage inside that bin, and it's created a timeline and put all the footage in the timeline. So I'm going to close this project and then I'll just show you the way I like to do things because I like to do things very manually so and, and understand what's going on as well while I'm doing it. So I'm going to go under file and I'm going to close this project here and it closes the project and I've got this previous project here, uh, but I'm going to create a new project here. I'm going to go, we're going to start over. I'm going to start a new project. I'm going to call this Hush Baby Edit, like we're starting to edit the movie or something like that. And I like to put project at the end of the file name there. I'm going to keep it under the same location right there. And I'm going to hit create. But this time I'm going to say don't create a new sequence and don't create a new bin. I like this as my default. I usually uh, don't use this page as much. Uh, so I'm going to hit create. And it opens it up with nothing imported and nothing inside my project here. I'm going to do some more episodes on importing media and creating timelines itself. So from here I'm going to import my folder of footage. So now that I've created my window here, so now that I've got this layout here, I'm going to go under the import tab. And we can navigate to my, to my hard drive where I've got my footage, to my folder where I've got my footage. I can select that folder right there. I want to bring all the footage in. It's in that individual folder right there. That's where all my footage is. And I'll just hit import. Got to be careful not double, not double. If you double click on this folder, it opens it up. This is kind of cool because this is red media in here and it's organized it in kind of its own weird structured folder when it records the footage on the camera. But if I just go to the general folder where I dump the footage and you check mark it, it'll fish through the whole thing and import just the footage and nothing else. So if I hit import, it imported all the media in here. 
Now I can highlight all my footage, drag it to a timeline, and now I can start looking through my media. So that's basically it on setting up a new project. Uh, in the next episode, I'm going to start getting into how to import your media uh, into the project. Uh, and we'll get into some specifics. There's like there's a ton of different ways of doing that. There's like three or four different ways of doing that. And we will cover that in the next episode.